What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today got an exciting new uh, bib system to show you. I have yet to try this in a summer bib short. Can you believe that? I have so many ASOS bibs, so many different combinations, winter, fall, spring, etc. And I wanted to try these for the, uh, the summer. So I don't know if the camera's gonna show that too well. It's very close to the lens, but Equip RS Bib Short S9 Targa in black. Uh, there is a QR code if you wanna stop and take a look at it box itself is pretty simple. There's um, labeling R versus RS versus RSR. And let's get into this because the camera battery appears to be dying. Okay, so Kalima is one of three, so that is summer. That should be no surprise. And uh, you know what, this is a well-known bib. A lot of people have these and are very, very happy with them. Wrapping is pretty normal. Comes with tissue paper to kind of keep things looking good. I got this in three days, right out of Switzerland to my house in Canada. We've got some tags on the short itself. If you wanna stop and look at that QR code, absolutely go for it. Otherwise, we're gonna to have to unpin that and uh, try not to rip anything here. So uh, it is saying it is going green with plastic. I don't know if it'll focus on that, but that's kind of cool. You know, anything to help the environment now, we are, we are cyclists. Um, okay, let's get into these shorts. First of all, super, super light. I can tell right now, like they weigh nothing, which is cool and also a good thing. Some cool, cool labeling, Equip RS. And uh, from what I'm used to seeing, like I've got Equip RS Fall, I've got Equip RS Winter, uh, Equip R Habu Winter as well. So I'm very familiar with the fit. It is more of a race type fit. And uh, where to get started? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna go right into the inside of the bibs, turn them inside out and show you uh, where the money happens. This is where the magic happens, not the money. So here we go, this is the, the ASO chamois. This right here is the Mona Lisa of the cycling world. Uh, everyone should at least see it once and experience it because uh, once, once you try an ASOS bib short, uh, if it's the millies uh, you know, or the equips, your, your mind is going to be blown, both in terms of comfort and quality as well as longevity. I've gone and I've used almost all of their shorts through their entire line and I'm excited to try this one out, but uh, it's just one of those things. Nicole's, uh, Rafa's, and ASOS, um, these guys are just a complete step above the rest of the group from my experience. And uh, I'm telling you this, I'm not selling these. I don't get any commission off this. This is me, bought full pop, uh, and I will continue to do so because I know it is cost per ride, the best investment you can make. So a couple things you'll notice here. Look, my hand is underneath the bib, inside the short. Weird, hey Mitch? So that's by design. When it's not tied down like this, it gives the ability for the chamois to move around like this and kind of get customized to your uh, your chiseled Greek physique as you ride. Uh, you know what, because everyone's different. We're not all equal, just like these shorts are made. So, you know, sometimes it needs to move, uh, adjust, etc. For the boys, not a bad thing. They have something on the front called the Golden Gate, which is, uh, I guess more of a cover for your your unicorn, but unicorn horn. But uh, to me, anyway, it's just uh, it's just comfort. It's a super soft material. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to show that too well. It might not because it's black. But uh, it, you know what? It fits and feels so good on your uh, situation. We've got some uh, some grippers on the legs. These should be no surprise. Everybody knows you need grippers on your legs to kind of keep things rocking nice and smooth uh, for or the shorts from riding up. You'll notice too, as we kind of go through this, there's not a lot of seams on the inside of these shorts. Like, you just, just kind of look at things. If the camera wants to focus, they're very well kept. Like normally you see a lot of cuts kind of all over the place. And on these guys, there's not a whole lot of seams. I'm not saying there aren't any, but when they are, they're obviously very minimal or double stitched to be nice and durable and last. And if they don't last, obviously you have that uh, quality, whatever policy that they offer, that uh, is unmatched. Uh, in terms of the bib straps, let's go into those next. These are uh, apparently on this revision of the S9. Remember Targa meaning revision or new version, uh, apparently. Apparently, there were some complaints that the straps were a little too uh, tight. 
So they apparently adjusted these uh, onto for taller riders, which is myself. Uh, I'm six foot three. I bought, uh, I'm about 200, 205 pounds, depending on uh, if I'm at a birthday party or not eating cake. And uh, I went with the large, which is, uh, seems to be perfect. Obviously you've got that Equip RS uh, labeling there, which looks great. Uh, the big thing for me, if you're gonna look at the, these bibs between the Equip R and the Equip RS, this being the RS, is this, uh, I think they call it like an A-frame or something, which means the strap comes down your butt or the back of the short and anchors itself in two spots. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna want this. Uh, if, you're, if you're a high mileage person, the chamois and the R and the RS are very, very similar. The fit is very similar. They're very, they're, it's a great value short, but this is the difference that you're gonna wanna have. And it just transfers the force of everything down your back rather than to the top of the short itself. To me, this is the single feature that steers me into this. You've got some cool uh, Targa, you know, special blah, blah, blah edition, whatever you wanna say. That looks sharp, but uh, you know what, when you ride past your, uh, your guys with the number one speed club jersey on, they see this little A-frame, they're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this guy knows what he's doing. Look at those A's. Uh, on the bottom here as well, so this is, uh, this is where your seat would go. Maybe I should flip it to show it this way. We can see the, the junk drawer there. Um, it's, it's just nicely stitched, all double stitched all through here. Hopefully the camera will see that as well. But all nicely and beautifully stitched. Seams are flawless, and uh, it just looks real sharp. Like, look at those, look at that stitch work. That's a company that knows what they're doing. No seams on the bottom of the short here. And remember, I use these, uh, I use these bibs with a specialized 3D mirror uh, saddle, and I don't have issues. Some people have issues with Rafa's and the Coles, uh, as the material's not as durable. I don't have that issue with ASOS. Okay, just so you know, if you are running a, a power or a mirror or Ronin or whatever, or I guess it'd be the mirror. Uh, system. You've got the lower junk, junk drawer, the bull chest, looks good. Um, and then what else here? I guess the anchor points on the front of the strap. It's kind of like some kind of, uh, it looks like it's almost uh, like a leather, but it's not. It's like this dark color-y synthetic material. It looks good. I don't know if that's uh, important or not, but I'm assuming that's, that's a unique feature that I don't see on the other equips that I have. So I wonder if that's new. I wonder why they did that. I'll have to find out. But it uh, looks good. And what else? What else do we got on here? No labeling for riders, I don't see. I'm um, surprised, do they have that on the back of the tag somewhere? Usually they got that uh, rider name thing. Maybe they don't on this one. Oh well. Okay, well I think that is going to be it. Did I show the ASOS logo on the leg? That is now black. How sick is that, guys? Let's zoom in and show that. How nice is that? So instead of like a white little logo there, it's like black on black. Uh, that looks real sharp. I know the camera's gonna make it look white, but it's, uh, it's black. It's just kind of shiny in the middle. That's a, that's a good looking logo. Black on black with the black grippers, and uh, that's, a sharp, that's a sharp looking bib. I'm excited to see, uh, give you my opinion on these. I'll ride these for probably a month and uh, maybe two, do another video on them and compare them with the Mili GT, uh, GTS, as well as the GTOs, uh, the Equip Rs, and uh, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll definitely give you my feedback. And it's no, I, I'm not gonna, like I said, I have no reason to, uh, to lie or anything like that. I'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, well, I think that's a good overview of these bibs. If there's anything specific you wanna see, you know, the venting and the chamois or anything like that specific, which I didn't even talk about. That's kind of hilarious, but there's venting in the chamois as well. Um, if there's anything you want to see, please let me know and I'll ensure to get that in the next video and included. Um, I guess I should say one more thing about this is that it is, a, it is a lightweight bib. This is not their high mileage bib, but it will be comfortable for that, obviously. The chamois is a lot smaller in size and uh, compression fits high. Foam's a little thinner, I wanna say, just off the top of my head, I wanna say it's nine mil instead of like 12 or 11, I think of the mil line. I think, don't quote me, maybe 13. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, I've ridden the Equip RS and the other lines, fall, spring, and winter, and, and I love them, so there you go. 
Okay, any questions, let me know, guys. I could talk all day. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, soon. Look for them in the vlogs, okay? Cheers. See ya.